As you know, with the recent banning of TikTok in the US, a lot of TikTokers who relied solely on the platform were quite frankly freaking out because that was their livelihood and they didn't know what else to do. They moved on to other platforms, tried to diversify, but it was kind of chaos as you may have heard from media and news. But as you know, TikTok is back online for now. However, this is just an important lesson for all of us not to rely heavily on a single platform and putting our eggs in one basket, whether that's just on Instagram, TikTok or YouTube. And this is where this video came about. And I want to talk to you about something that a lot of creators overlook, and that is building an email subscriber base. I've personally been building an email list since 2006 and I can attest that it's the one thing I was able to control despite all of the algorithm changes. And my email list was always there as a safety guard and a backup whenever these things did occur. So in this video, I wanna share with you the importance of building an email list, especially in 2025, when things are quite uncertain, quite unstable, and how to actually get started, what tools you need, and especially how I'm actually building an email list myself. All that will be covered in this video. Okay, first of all, email marketing has one of the highest return on investments there is when it comes to marketing channels because people have to actually opt in to your newsletter in order to receive whatever it may be. And that leads to warmed up leads, warmed up subscribers who then in turn as a result buy your products and or services. So of course there's monetization benefits where you can push your own products, promotions, attract sponsors as well, which I don't personally do, but I do push my own products and other people's products too. Another great use of it is pushing the latest content you have out there, whether that's a new YouTube video, a new blog post or whatever it may be. In terms of making money and monetizing monetizing your email list, which I'm sure you are interested in. We're going to start some, with something conservative and say that you've got an email list of about 1,000 subscribers. And out of those 1,000 subscribers, we're going to drive traffic to our product or service. And obviously not what all 1,000 subscribers are going to actually view your product or service because of reasons like they don't receive your email, it goes to spam. Uh, they're not interested in that, but let's just say 200 of them actually viewed your website, okay? Now, out of those 200, of course, again, not all of them are going to buy your product for whatever reason. Let's say only 5% of them uh, buy your product. That would mean only 10 of the 200 viewers actually buy your product. So we've got 10 buyers so 10 buyers, let's say your product is about $100. That is, so let's say your product, this is your, let's say your course or your ebook, and this is $100. Then you're going to make $1,000 from one email promotion. So as you can see, building an email list has high potential in terms of monetization capabilities. That's just one benefit of it. The other benefit is because you own your email list, you can easily export all of your subscribers to a spreadsheet, which you can do in your email marketing uh, service quite easily with one click. And that just gives you a whole another level of peace of mind. Let's head over to my screen where I'll show you how I'm actually building an email list. So you can see this in practice. What you're looking at right now is my opt-in form. This is how I'm collecting email subscribers. All they need to do is enter their email address and subscribe and away they go. But how do people actually find this opt-in form? Because it doesn't just magically happen, right? Well, that's where my website comes in, where they can visit my website, they can click on join the newsletter and they end up back on that page. But this still doesn't answer the question, right? How do people find my newsletter? Well, that's where the promotions and your content comes in. As you know, I've got this YouTube channel, so I utilize this as much as I can. We've got the space at the top where it goes to my newsletter. And then with each of the videos that I post, you'll see this is one of my videos. Scroll down, you'll see on the description, 
my newsletter here. Join the community, the Productive Digital Creator. Sign up is free. They click that and then they land on the opt-in page right here. Same goes for all the other social profiles. With Instagram specifically, I've got a beacons page or a kind of link in bio mobile website. So if they click that, they can see the opt-in form also linking to my website. So plenty of opportunities for them to opt in to my newsletter. And really the best part is I've been building an email list all organically with zero spend on ads. Now that I've shown you how I am personally building an email list, I wanna show you how to get started and the tool you need to actually start building an email list. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is that email marketing service. And the one I personally use, who have also kindly sponsored this video, is Omnisend. Although Omnisend did sponsor this video, I'm actually personally using Omnisend myself to build an email list, send out newsletters, and create automations all within their platform. If you look in the description box below, you'll find a link to Omnisend. It'll take you here where you can click on start now and then sign up. The great thing is you can get started for free, zero dollars per month. You can build up to 250 contacts, send out 500 emails per month. And there's also the ability to send out and push out SMS marketing or messages too. Once you've signed up, you'll see some prompts that will guide you on setting up your account for the first time. If you do want to integrate it with your Shopify or your WooCommerce store, feel free to do that really easy. And once you've done that, I want to take you through some of these things right here. The first thing you're going to need is a form. So if you want to build a form like this, simply head to forms and then you'll see a button called create form. Click that once and then you'll see a ton of templates to choose from. These are all opt-in forms, which is what I like to call it. And there's different types where you can have these wheels, kind of like uh, Timu, <laughs> it reminds me of Timu. And I guess that's where the idea came, came from. And you've got things like unlocking uh, discount codes or small kind of welcome steps multi-step ones so if you click on any of them you'll see the editor and from here you can edit away this is a two-step opt-in which is not what i'm looking for i simply want a simple opt-in like this where the potential subscriber enters their email clicks on submit and then they get whatever it is that you're offering now in terms of what you can offer this can be as simple as a newsletter where you've got a weekly newsletter or a discount code like this example. It could be a free guide, free ebook, or a mini course or a seven day challenge, whatever it may be. Think about what you're going to offer first. Once you've decided on that, then you can move on to actually writing the copy and then putting the offer on here. But with this right here, let's say this is the form that we want to go with, the template. All we need to do is just edit the heading so as easy as clicking once and then saying free guide and whatever that guide may be all right so it could be a self-help guide could be a social media guide make it up i'm just making it up on the spot here write some more content some more copy right here is where you can change some of the field placeholder text clicking the button you can also change that right here on the left, you'll find more items that you can add, more fields. So let's say you want to add uh, more input. So go here and then enter what it is that you want. Let's say a first name, which is what it added uh, by default. Uh, you, you can request for different uh, forms, but just know for a fact, this is a tip that the more fields that you add, the lower your conversions will be. And this just adds friction in terms of them opting to your email newsletter so that's just something to note and one thing i would suggest okay now with that you can add different items as well and then move on to the bottom where it says step two where you can ask for their mobile cell number so that you can contact them via sms this is completely optional so you don't need this step here you can simply delete it so all we're asking for is their email. Now, success, this is the page that they'll see after they've entered their email and click submit. You can customize this too to something else. And next you'll see subscribed. If they are already subscribed, this is a message that you customize. There are other options too. You can create another step 
more steps, whatever it may be. On the right, you'll see behavior where you can control the behavior of your audience. Things such as audience management, where you can add certain tags whenever someone pops into your form uh, and newsletter. So you can tag them with something like, you know, free subscribers, warm leads, or it could be the name of your guide, mini course, online challenge, or what have you, all here so that you can then segment your email list to then have your newsletters only sent to a specific audience with those tags. Double opt-in, this is where you can enable double opt-in so that they need to verify the email address so that it is 100% accurate and you have quality email subscribers. Feel free to customize the other settings. On the theme settings tab, you'll see form layout. This is where you can change the display type where it's a pop-up where it'll pop up. You can also fly out as you can see, create a landing page, just like what I've created here. So that's the type that I selected, or you can embed it anywhere by clicking embed, and then this will then embed it on one of your pages. Once you're done customizing your opt-in form, click on enable form, that'll make it live. And this is the link that you wanna share to the world, right? So you can click that, Create a shorter link. That is what I would suggest since it is quite long. So at this point, you've got a number of choices. You can create something like a link in bio, like what I have here with the beacons page, or you can directly link in your link in bio on your social profiles, that opt-in page. So I've got my demo opt-in page here. You simply wanna link that on your link in bio, as well as any other social profiles. Let's say you also have a YouTube channel, customize the channel here, and also in your description of every single one of your videos. Once you've actually gained some subscribers and are ready to send a newsletter, head to campaigns. This is where you'll find a list of all of your newsletters. Once sent, you can see all the past ones that I've sent and the, the date and how many it was sent to. I recently did some list hygiene or cleaning up of my email list so that only those who are active are on my list. So I used to have twenty over 20,000 subscribers, now down to 16.4. It'll also show you some stats like your open rates and the click rate. But once you're ready to create a newsletter, head to create campaign, and then you wanna create an email. Once you're here, fill out the details such as the email subject line. You've got a pre-header and a campaign name for yourself only. And then you move on to selecting an email template. There's plenty of aesthetic and professional looking email templates to start with and choose from. And you can very well customize these with your own brand guidelines, your colors. So you're not fixed to just using uh, the, one of these. For instance, if you like this one here, you can preview it or use a template. I'll click on use a template right away. And this is where you can go ahead and write your email newsletter by replacing anything you want, like the logo or simply deleting this since it is not relevant and change the heading to whatever headline you want. Enter the content. There's buttons here as well to play around with, but it's quite like a website builder, right? You can look on the quick ad and then click and drag different elements to the page. And you've got uh, templates that you can save as well. We've got a hero image at the top. You can add a pre-header, email body templates as well, image gallery if you want to highlight some visuals, or if you've got a list of products, you can do so as well. Once you've written your email, what I suggest you do is save it as a template if it's something you'll be reusing for your next newsletters. So click on this down arrow, save it as a template, and that way you can just load up your template rather than starting from scratch again. So once you're done, what we're gonna do is save and choose recipients so that OmniSend knows who to send it to. And you can choose your different segments. So if you've segmented your email list to certain audiences, so let's say warm leads, cold leads, or it could be those who opted in a, to a specific form, that's where you can select it. So I've got down the list here, active subscribers, those who are engaged, those who have opened, uh, so different tags that I've created in the past. Otherwise, if you do want to send it to your entire list, knowing that it's going to be targeted, then select all subscribers and then click on review campaign. Some more settings for you here. There's a thing called campaign booster where it will automatically resend the same email to those who 
did not open your initial email. So this is a great way to inform those who may have missed your initial email. If you wanna publish your newsletter right away, click on send now, otherwise schedule it for later and then you can select the date and time. Once done, click on the submit button and then it will send or schedule your email. If you wanna be able to send automated emails that is on predetermined days, they've got the ability to do that by clicking on automations, then click on start the workflow. So you can create all sorts of workflows, not just predetermined emails. Let's say someone clicks on a specific email or clicks on a specific link, you can then tag them with the specific tag so that you're segmenting them even further. Click on start workflow. Once it's created, you can head to your workflow and once you're here, this is a visual map of the workflow that you're setting up. You can start with an email and then what happens if they click on that email or engage with that email. You can create delays such as wait one minute and then create a welcome message. So this is useful if they have subscribed to your email list and then you wanna create that welcome message or it could be email delivery of your digital product. You can create that all using the workflows under automations. The next essential thing I want to talk about is audience. This is where you can manage your contact list. So you can see the number of contacts that you have. You can see the contacts down the bottom. If you click on a subscriber, that's where you can manage that specific subscriber. Otherwise, go to segments. These are the segments that you currently have or don't have. And you can create a segment based on whatever it is. And under customer breakdown, this is more so to do with your e-commerce store. I don't utilize the e-commerce part aspect of Omnisend since I'm simply just sending newsletters to other uh, creators and subscribers. If you've got an existing email list, this is where you can import your list. So if you're thinking about transferring or migrating from another email marketing provider, such as MailChimp, GetResponse, Aweber, Active campaign, you can do so by exporting from there and then importing to Omnisend. On the contrary, if you do want to export your email list as a backup, you can do so by going to exports and creating a new export. You can manage all your tags under tags and tags is where you can manage all of your tags and delete them all under one place. You can also view reports under reports, categorizing it by sales, campaigns, automation, forms, deliverability and exports. Now that I've walked you through the steps on how to get started with email marketing, use the link in the description box below where you can get started with Omnisend for free. As you saw, $0 to start with, no obligations, no plans, build your first 250 contacts and then grow from there. And finally, once again, I do want to bring home and stress the importance of building an email list in 2025 and beyond. You don't want to make the same mistakes that many have, including myself, and be caught up in the whole aspect of building on just one platform and that single basket. Go ahead, take action today, and I'll see you in the next one.